Hello guys and welcome to today's video which is AQA June 2017 Foundation Tier Part 2 series Okay, so it's going to be Part 2 out of 4 Right guys, this video was recorded on Tuesday the 20th of October 2020 Right guys, before I start actually, yeah, obviously I wanted to let you know actually, yeah So a little disclaimer, so today's actually my birthday today Okay, so as a, as a little birthday request guys, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel Drop the video a like, um, press the bell icon so you don't miss out on future future videos. Okay, and feel free, yeah, yeah. If if I'm I'm feeling quite generous, and and yeah, if you feel comfortable, share my videos around actually with anyone that might find it useful. Okay, I want to try and get to a hundred, yeah, as soon as um sorry a thousand as soon as possible. Okay, so I thought I'd, yeah, share that with you guys. Okay, right, guys. A few key, one key point to mention actually, yeah, so like one key point to mention is please try obviously yeah, try your best obviously for the exams. So the exams are actually looming. Okay, we, we we've still got a bit of time actually, so we've still got two weeks, I believe, from today's date. Um, yeah, for this actually. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at question five, thirteen, fourteen, twenty, twenty-two, and twenty-five. Okay. And then I'm going to try and cover the rest of them in the next video, yeah, but there'll be four parts, okay, four part series, okay, and then I'm going to move on to paper three. So I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going quite quickly, guys, yeah, because I want to try and cover a lot of questions, okay, and then it's paper three, and then I might cover that one higher tier paper, yeah, for, for anyone that's obviously not actually covered higher tier paper, okay. For higher tier, guys, yeah, I wanted to say before I actually start the video today, higher tier, there is actually like an overlap, so there are some questions that don't appear on both, uh, sorry, some questions that appear on both, so the last third of a foundation paper is the same as the first third on a higher paper, so I thought I'd let you guys know on that, so... If I'm covering the last few questions on a foundation paper, you might recognise that as the first few questions on the higher paper. Yeah, because obviously there is like a little overlap here because obviously higher starts from grade four, I believe, yeah, grade four and five. And then it goes, yeah, goes up to nine, whereas foundation, yeah, goes, goes up to grade five, okay? So I thought I'd say that now, actually. Right, guys, let's just get straight into the video today, okay? So our plan is to cover these questions. Right, guys, this is question number six sorry not five so um so yeah we're we, we given this actually so the key represents so eight people use the mill so that's going to be four that's going to be four because four plus four is going to be eight so the first part is filling the key well it will each key so each of that re represents four people so that's one mark Part B says, how many people use a female change room? Well, 4, 8, 12, that's 3 quarters, so it's going to be 3. So 12 plus 3 is, is equal to 15, okay, so the answer to that is 15. Okay, so that should be question 6, sorry, and not 5, sorry, question 6. Right, guys, um, for part C, it says the manager has bought lockers for the changing room. Why should she not use these results to, to decide where to put them? Well, um, so one rule might be is that more men, yeah, might come in at a different time. Okay. At a different time, so we don't know, yeah. Um, the times and the hours of, of the day that they're going to be using that. So that's one answer. There are some more answers here on this, guys. Here, so feel free here to check the mark scheme for that. Okay, so that's one possible answer. Right, guys, question number 13. Work out the size of angle X. Well, angles around the points, so all these angles have to add up to 360. So that's 90, by the way, because it's um right angle. So... 90 plus 21 plus 160 plus 36 um 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 um okay plus x has to equal 360 okay so 300 Plus x is equal to 360. x is equal to 30, uh, 60, sorry. So x is equal to 60, oh, sorry, 60 degrees. 
exactly. So this question, guys, yeah, I believe it was worth, I think it was worth four marks, I believe. And yeah, or three marks, I think it was. Right, guys, question number 14. It says, 14, in this question, use one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. One stone is equal to 14 pounds. Change 70 kilos into stone. Well, one kilo is equal to 2.2 pounds. 70 kilos is 70 times 2.2. Okay, so 70 times 2.2, and I get an answer of 154 pounds. Okay, now it says that one stone is 14 pounds. Okay, well, we've got 154 pounds. Okay, so the question now is how do we work out how many stones that is well i've got to work out the scale multiplier so 154 divided by 14 it's going to be 11 so times by 11 and i'm going to times this by 11 well 10 times 15 is 150 165 um stones So that's my answer for that, guys. Right, guys, question number 20. A code has four digits. Each digit is a number 0 to 9. Digits may be, a, sorry, full stop there. Digits, digits may be repeated. The code starts with 541, and we've got a missing digit. Joe chooses a number at random for the last digit. Write down the probability that he chooses the correct number. Well, we've got the numbers 0 to 9, so it's going to be out of 10. So it will be 1 out of 10. So that's my answer. 1 out of 10. For part B. Amy knows the last digit is odd, but not 7. So she chooses, okay, a different odd number at random. What is the probability that she chooses the correct number? Well, the odd numbers are 1, sorry, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. It can't be a 7. Okay, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 4 out of 10, which is equal to 2 fifths. Okay, or 2 fifths, yeah, or 0 0.4. Okay, yeah, um, either one will be correct. Or, yeah, or 40%, yeah, if, you, if you're going to put your answer in that. So similarly, this will be 0 0.1 or 10% for the equivalent answer for part A. Right, guys, um, question number 22. Work out the value of x as a decimal. Okay, so we're going to run, yeah, um, we're going to use Pythagoras. So Pythagoras says x squared plus 3 squared is equal to 8 squared. So remember, guys, it's this squared plus this squared is equal to this squared. This is called the hypotenuse, the longest side. Okay, x squared plus 9 is equal to 64. Minus 9, minus 9. x squared is equal to 55 x is equal to the square root of 55 which is 7 point um 7.42 to two decimal places okay. yeah so that's my answer sorry yep yeah, on my calculator okay so that's my answer yes yeah, centimeters okay right guys probability right the, this the table shows Information about some CDs. So we've got type of, of we've got rock, pop, or jazz. Number of CDs is two X and X plus five. A CD is chosen at random. Oops, sorry. The probability that it is rock is one twentieth. So the probability that it's going to be rock is one twentieth. Okay. Work out the probability that it's going to be jazz. Well, we don't know what X is, but we can form an equation and say that the probability has to add. Okay. Um, to, to to make one, if that makes sense. Um, so, is the probability of this is two? Okay, so the probability of this is two. 
okay and we don't know what x is okay so we have to form some equations here guys so probability says that so it has to add up to make one actually so so, so the remainder okay so x plus 2x plus 5 has to equal okay 19 twentieths because the probability of this plus this has to give me one okay so we get 3x plus 5 is equal to this okay and then do we get a answer um So for this, guys, um, so these two have to add to make 19 twentieths, okay, because the probability of that is going to be, the probability of it is rock, okay, well, we've got two there, okay, so we got two out of okay two plus x plus two x plus five has to equal nineteen twentieths okay so when we solve this equation okay so when we solve this equation when we simplify we get x is equal to eleven okay so we're gonna get eleven there. 2 times 11 is 20, 2 add 5 is 27, so the probability that it's jazz, okay, will be, well, 27, 38, 40, so it's going to be 27, oops, sorry, out of 40, okay, so this part here, guys, comes from, so it's the number, okay of cds so here i've got the total number of cds actually on this side so it's 2 divided by 2 plus x plus 2x plus 5 is equal to the remainder so sorry that should be 1 out of 20 there and not ever so so I've so I formed the equation for probability actually. So we know that um so this remaining part here, so two over this plus this has to equal to nineteen twenties, or conversely, this divided by the sum of this has to equal one twentieth because we know that the remainder so that, that'll be y over something and that'll be z over something but we don't know exactly what they are so we've had to form a linear equation okay so 2 over 2 plus x plus 2x plus 5 has to equal to 1 out of 20 okay solving this i get x is equal to 11 okay when i solve this when x is equal to 11 that's going to be 11 there and that's going to be 27 okay so the total number of cds so total number of cds is equal to 40 because 27 plus 11 plus 2 is equal to 40 so my final answer is 27 out of 40 okay i hope it made sense guys here if, if if there are any issues then put it in the comment section and i'll try my best here to explain it in like a more coherent way okay but i hope it made sense yeah to the best of my knowledge yeah for this question um we were given information about this so so, so, so this is a probability um part okay or conversely if if the probability was one twentieth yeah then then i know that that's gonna have to be two fortieths as 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 as, as an equivalent so two fortieths and then from there i could have actually worked it backwards to find out what the because the the remaining would have had to add up to 30 out of 40 so 
this plus this would would have had to equal 38, okay? Which if I solve that, I get 3x plus 5 is 38. 3x is 33, x equals 11, if that makes sense. So that is like another way, okay? So x plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 38, and th 38 came from, well, that's 1 over 20 for the property, which is equal to 2 over 40, so it's 2 CDs out of a total of 40, so we know that the, our answer has to be out of 40, the remaining part has to equal to 19 over 20, which is equal to 38 over 40, so x plus 2x plus 5 has to equal to 38, so solving that, I get 3x plus 5 is 38, 3x is equal to 33, x equals 11. Okay, so that's solving that equation there. Sorry guys, yeah, I, I, I might have actually talked a lot this year, but I hope it made sense. Again, if there's any questions or queries, put it in the comments section. I think I might have actually overcomplicated it. But if you followed my second method about converting this over 40, converting this over 40, then I get an answer. Right guys, this is my last few points here to mention, okay, make sure to, to have all the very equipment for paper 1 and paper 2 and paper 3, so I've put the equipment here, okay, make sure to always show full work in the exams, remember that paper 2 and paper 3 are calculator papers, okay, so make sure to have your calculators for those papers, yeah, and then lastly, if there's any topics that you want me to cover for GCSE Math here for the November exams, um, then you obviously leave a comment in the comment section drop me an email if you're looking for private tutoring or extra support with your maths i'll be more than happy to help you and feel free to check out my revision videos back in july this year so guys um to summarize here i hope it made sense any questions or queries then put it in the comment section thank you so much for watching guys i hope you're all well and i hope you all stay safe so sorry for like rambling a lot actually on the last question but i hope you were able to actually take something away actually so i think i was clear on that last question um yeah but if you're not sure then put it in the comment section but yeah guys um so that that is part two there part three and part four will come out in the coming days okay and then i'm going to start paper three yeah, for AQA, yeah, foundation tier, and then I'm going to move my way through, yeah, to the next set of papers, okay, so guys, thanks so much for watching, I hope you're all well, stay safe, and I will see you soon.